this is full cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York. And for me today, I have a box of 1998, 1999 SPX Top Prospects. It's an old school object, old school concept, uh, old school project, I guess. And note that the box is completely squashed and squished. I have no idea why. I don't know what kind of shape the cards are going to be in. Second item of business is the fact that there is a 9899. Uh, SPX Finite, and that goes for like a thousand dollars online. I don't know why. I know that there are some short, uh, limited parallels, and that is why some of these on the secondary market still sell for a bit. So, uh, with back to this top prospect box, nonetheless, configuration three cards per pack, 18 packs per box, which should amount to 54 cards. Base set one through 60, rookie cards would be 61 through 90. There are Sedin autoed cards in that rookie set, they are numbered to 1999 as all the rookies are, and there are parallels, which would be the Radiance number 200 and the Spectrums, which are one of ones. Uh, do note that the top prospect rookies uh, aren't necessarily true rookies because some of the players had the rookie years the subsequent year, so it's a little bit of a mix up in terms of which are actually true rookies and aren't. I think the Cabriolet, which is a base card, is actually a true rookie, so you have to figure that stuff out for yourself. Within a box break, we should expect six of the lasting impressions, which are one of three. We should expect 2.25 of the highlight heroes. Uh, one of the premier stars, one of the year of the great one, uh, because it would have been his retirement year, 1999, and a 7% chance of uh, hitting a winning materials. And those actually include some sticks uh, within there. So that's kind of cool. So uh, let's crack this open. Uh, it is so destroyed, this plastic, it's not even funny. So this could have been tampered with, but who knows? Uh, only one way to find out. I don't believe there's a seal on this thing either, if you notice, no seal, uh, we seal. It's a bit dark in here, I always shoot natural light. I might actually change my camera and my lighting system at some point because I'm getting to that point, so just note that. And in terms of the big name rookies, although they're not necessarily true rookies, would be Roberto Luongo, Brendan Morrow, I believe would be one. Uh, of course, the Sedin brothers, as well as David Legwand, and mostly a bunch of no-names within that top prospects rookie list. Uh, I think there's Brian Finley, uh, there's Maxime Finneganoff, who had a short career, I believe, with Buffalo, so. Uh, Finnegan, of course, went off to the KHL, I think, um, after this stint with Buffalo. Uh, three cards per pack, guys, So, and these are going to stick uh, like nobody's business, so that's something worth uh, being mindful of. But we do have a Dominator to start us off. Oh, man, these are going to just be glued. Sackic. Ah, okay, here we go, guys. They're really, really sticking, guys. Uh, so there we have a dominant Kashuk. Here are the back of the cards. They look especially SPX, very SPX, very, very dynamic uh, and super, super geometric and uh, flashy. Okay, so these are just base cards as far as I can tell. There's Joe Sakic, and that would be Manny Maholtra, who I believe was out of Mississauga, wasn't he? Uh, ended up being a face-off specialist. Looking to spike a Sedin auto, if that's at all possible, we would have to hit the Sedin uh, quasi rookie card. Well, we have an insert, so here we go. We have this uh, Forsberg, and here is our first insert, guys. Pretty nice, and this would be one of those lasting impressions, I believe, is what they're called. So, so these uh, would be, I believe, we're going to receive six of those, and this would be a Brewer. Rifling down the left side, mindful of the fact that they might have actually been mixed up uh, in storage. The left and the right side, there's Samsonov. Man, these are really glued, it's a problem. There's Samsonov, uh, there's Chris Drury, and that would be Tom Pody, I believe. Uh, not much uh, other than inserts back in the day with regard to these cards. As I said, the odd auto at times, depending on the product. Uh, here we go guys. So we have a Garen. We have something behind there. We have a Thomas Cabriolet. So this, believe it or not, I believe is a true rookie of Thomas Cabriolet, even though it's not considered one of the rookies. And here we go. We have this. This one would be numbered to 1999 means it's a rookie card. So this rookie... Oh, cool. We hit the David Leguan rookie card. That's actually one of the better ones you can receive other than the Sedins. Nice. Very good. That's solid. Solid as heck. And Leguan was the second overall back in 1998. Uh, unclear whether it's considered a true rookie. I think he did play in 1998, just one game, but uh, they don't have him listed as a true rookie. Uh, hard to know, it's a real mix up with regard to those. 
Uh, there is Dougie Gilmore, nice, as well as Theo Fleury. And this one would be of Lidstrom. There's Nikki Lidstrom. So, guys, so the 1999 draft, uh, which would have been the Sedin's real rookie year, I believe. Uh, I think first overall, of course, was Patrick Stefan. Then it was Daniel Sedin and Henrik Sedin. Then Pavel Brendel, Tim Conley. Tim Conley would be in here. Brian Finley, who's also within here. Tim Conley's within here. Uh, then I believe it was Chris Beach and Taylor Pyatt. Uh, Jamie Lundmark and Branislav Massey uh, would have been the last one, I think, 10th in the top 10, I believe. So there you go. And this would be a Solani card. Uh, we have another one, the Lasting Impressions, and of course it would be the Russian Rocket, Pavel Bure, as well as a Leech card. Uh, not the best draft ever, although the Sedins, of course, were the big draw that year in the 99 draft. J.P. Dumont. I think J.P. Dumont is actually a true rookie in this set, believe it or not, even though he's not considered a rookie. And here we go. So this uh, is one of the other inserts, and it was would be one of the highlight hero inserts. I think we received two of these. And it would be Brett Hull, and there we have a Chris Chelios. Highlight heroes. Uh, we're supposed to receive 2.25 of those to be specific. So two to three, obviously. Oh, there's Joe Thornton. Continuing on, uh, there is a Primo as well as a Ray Bork sighting and a Joe Thornton. Wow, cool, look at this. Uh, so another one of the lasting impressions and this one be Cujo. Uh, oh, cool, so we have another rookie card here and it would be the Brian Finley. Again, one of the better of this sort of mediocre rookie class. Uh, he was, as I said, a high draft pick was Brian Finley, and it's numbered to 1999, as those rookies are. And, oops, oh my god, I just bent the card trying to, I don't know what I was trying to do there. I've lit I literally just put a crease in the John LeClaire card for no apparent reason. Haste to unstick, unstuck cards. Here we go, we have Patrick, we have Tony Amante, and we do have a Daniel Briere. Down the next column, uh, we would be looking for one of ones if that's possible, or number to 100. Okay, we have another insert. Uh, there's Stevie Y, and another one of lasting memories in this one would be Geo Sakic, as well as this Al McInnes. Okay, oh, cool, we hit something here. Let's see what it is. We have a Messier card, and what is this? Ooh, nice. So this is a Marty Bruder Premier Stars. Okay, so the Premier Stars, we received one per box, I believe, and this would be it. And we did hit the Premier Stars of Marty Bruder first all time in wins. And shutouts for that matter. It's a nice looking card. We're guaranteed one of those. Uh, we should also receive a year of the great one. Still trying to unstick these here. Ideally, we would like to hit a one of one or a number to 100, but note that there could only be, what is it, 90 of them total in the entire uh, population. So uh, this parish, I believe, is also a true rookie, strangely. There's Mike Medano, as well as a Peter Bondra sighting, nice. And the ideal thing would be to hit one of those winning materials, uh, but they're rare, 7% chance at those. Oh, I believe we hit our great one, so let's see here. So, uh, we have the Chris Pronger, as well as this one of Theo Fleury, another one lasting impression. So here would be our great one. So this is the year of the great one, really great looking card, and it would be card number 15, I believe, on that checklist. And as a quote from Barry Melrose, talking about his short long. I'm just hallucinating here. Okay. And we have a Marty Boudoir. We have a Shanahan as well as a Sundin card. Looking for a Sadie, not a Sundin. Oh, we have another one of the heroes, highlight heroes. We're guaranteed two of those, I believe. We have Dougie Waite as someone skateboards by. And we have the Joe Sackick highlight heroes. Nice. 
And there is a beret. Last couple of packs, guys. Okay. And here is a Chris Osgood. Ooh, hat sighting. Vinny Donfus. Very nice. And we do, we have hit the Paul Korea lasting uh, memories, I think is what they call these things. Impressions, sorry. And final, final pack. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a rookie. It's a rookie of some sort, some form or fashion. We have the Gretzky, hit the Gretzky base card. We hit the Brett Hall. And our rookie, our last rookie would be, whoo. Oh, we hit the Maxine Finnegan off. That's actually a decent one as well. So we did hit some of the uh, bigger name rookies in a really poor class. Did not hit the Sedins, of course, but that's a decent one as well. All right, guys, time for the recap. So we did receive our beautiful base cards, really nice uh, cards from this era, very SPX feeling. They're very substantial feeling cards. Uh, received about 41 of the 90s, so a little bit less than half of the base cards. Uh, very geometric, a lot going on. Uh, very busy, like typical SPX cards. So these are the base cards. And by the way, the Parish and Cabriolet would be true rookies within the base set. It's kind of confusing which are uh, true rookies, not true rookies in this era. And with regard to our, our numbered rookies, we did receive uh, three decent ones from this class, actually really good ones from this really bad class. Finneganoff, of course, Buffalo Prospects third rounder, number two, 1999. There's a Finley who was the sixth overall, and there is David Legwan, who's probably one of the better ones other than the Sedins, given the fact that he was the second overall. Uh, so these would be the rookies all stated as rookies. It states rookies on them. With regard to our lasting impressions, we were supposed to receive six. We did, in fact, receive six, and they're all good ones. Look at this. Paul Correa, Eric Lindros, Pavel Bure. We have Cujo, Joe Sackett, even Theo Fleury. Theo Fleury, who put up 1,088 points in his some 1,084 games. Uh, really, really uh, hot always to receive a Theo Fleury. In terms of our highlight heroes, we did in fact receive the two uh, we should have received. We received Joe Sackick, and there is Brett Hall. I guess Brett Hall would be, what, fourth all-time in goal scored uh, with 741. And here would be our premier stars. Pretty cool looking card. We had Marty, of course, first all-time in wins and games played and losses and shutouts. Nice. And finally, we did hit our year of the great one. There it is, Wayne Gretzky. Uh, he would have had 50 goals in his first 10 seasons had it not been for one year where he was injured. So, I mean, his numbers still are just ridiculous, just bonkers. So that's it, guys. An interesting break of this stuff. Uh, I do recommend it if you can get it for like 50 bucks. It's a nice product. Uh, that's all I can say about that. So that's basically it, guys. An early incarnation of the SPX. I love this stuff, this old school stuff. Uh, please be sure to sub, like, and hashtag Dryden. I happen to be full cards live and direct from a city called Brooklyn, New York. That is why all the girls in the sands follow you.